I think people do like hard data. I think that is, you know, always a, a first strategy for putting out the case of why certain change should happen. Um, so I think it's a really good starting point to have Wilf there to, you know, to present the data for us. Uh, data that I've seen uh, can be really scary looking forward in terms of labor shortages and, you know, really emphasizing the urgency of taking action and planning now to take action rather than waiting till it's you know, just too late and all the retirements have happened and, you know, the, the workforce is, is really uh, at an emergency state. We also need the leaders with the, with the anecdotes, you know, to be able to help people understand the advantages of a diverse workforce, uh, whether it's just sort of the personal enjoyment of, you know, working with people who have different, um, you know, whatever culture, language, experience than, than I do, or, um, you know, that there's, there's a good business case to be made for that. I think all of those are good things and, you know, people can contribute that information. I think that's helpful to each other. Because I think in the end, you know, it really doesn't matter where you start, it's where you end up. And I think that offers the greatest opportunity. So that's where I think that, you know, sharing success stories is really important. Um, people really already know about the failures, you know, so I think that um, perspective needs to be changed to bring more people into uh, thinking about how they can diversify the workforce in a really good way.